Hey guys, it's Tyler Rollinson and welcome back to another Charlton vlog. Today is Tuesday night game, Charles Athletic versus Bradford City. And this is a ridiculously important game for the Addicts today. We are seventh and Bradford are sixth. They're two points above us and they have the worst goal difference in the top eight in the league right now. And they're in abysmal form, having scored one point in their last six and had just come off the back of a draw ending their five game losing streak but they couldn't beat bottom of the league Berry. Meanwhile Charlton have let two potential wins slip from their grasps against Oxford which is my previous vlog where well we all know what happened there and in Doncaster last weekend which was absolutely ridiculous. Bauer scoring on his return and then letting in a scrappy goal in the 94th minute. We deserved to beat Doncaster massively. We were so dominant against them and I just can't it cannot happen tonight. It cannot happen tonight. But we need to win tonight. And I have a very bad feeling about tonight as well because of it being such an important game. The team news was announced earlier. Uh, no Ben Reeves and he's been replaced by Kai Kai. Everyone else is exactly the same. Amos in goal. McGuinness up front. Still annoys me to this day that he's still up front. I don't know why. But... It's the usual team, I think it's got a solid 11 and based off Bradford's bad form, I do think we've got an opportunity. I'm going for uh, score prediction wise. 7-4. Um, <laughs> very optimistic there. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm so, cheeky 2-1 win, Charlton. Cheeky 2-1. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tight. Bradford obviously have Adam Chickson, obviously ex Charlton player, played for us last year. He's against us today. And Bradford also have the likes of Nathaniel Knight Percival, Roman Vincelot, Timothy Dieng, and Charlie White, who I think is their top goal scorer. So they have got some dangers, but their bad form gives us some hope. But let's just hope we can nick the result and we need to make up for the four points that we dropped against Oxford and Doncaster. So come on, Charlton. Come on, Charlton. has just hit the post off the cut and inside and yeah, we're getting there's a great start for Charlton right we're about I'd say about 17 or 18 minutes in and Charlton have had mainly all the chances of the game Sole Kai Kai has had a decent amount of shots from outside the box and Charlton are attacking Bradford constantly in forward Bradford have had a few corners but nothing much coming from them but I keep you posted nil nil Charlton have had a better side so far So the second half is about to start. Charlton won, Bradford nil was the half-time score. And it's been the same old stuff going on down at the Valley. Charlton scoring early. Josh begin his 24th minute header. Second goal in 17. And the fans are still screaming his name like he's our hero or something. Charlton have had a few good chances. As a matter of fact, we've been the better team in attacking football. So they Kai Kai and Mark Marshall having the best chances. Marshall hitting the post and Kai Kai having a shot saved. But yeah, uh, Bradford don't really look in this game up until about the 35th minute where 35th minute they had a few corners were getting through and Charlton have started to relax and allowing them to get forward so this can't happen we cannot concede another late goal we're allowing Bradford to come forward we're relaxing and allowing them to come forward if they keep coming forward they're going to score and we're going to get heartbreaking for a third week running Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Come on, Charlton. <laughs> Come on, you Red. Another fantastic start to a half for Charlton. Three Fossum has just had a fantastic shot. Cut inside shot. Just missed the back post. What a shot from him. Oh, no. Come on, 
dig everything. Ah, oh, okay. It's happened again. It's happened again. Charlie White was left unmarked on the, on the wing. He swung the ball in the box. And I think it's Robinson that has scored a, pretty much a free header, really. And it's 1 1. Robinson hasn't made a change. Charlton have not had a decent attack for about 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm right. Terrell Robinson. The guy they subbed on. Robinson has not made a change. If he brings Harry Lennon on, we're not coming over to three points. But it's happened again. Sick and tired of this. Michael Giro is coming on for Mark Marshall. If, if he, he fucks up again yeah, this time, yeah. if he if up. he abandons Chris Solly and leaves him open, we'll be in trouble. Come on, Zero. Solly Kaika has come off, and Nikki Jose has come on. Something different, but yeah, let's see if he actually wants to play for us in this type of situation. Nikki Jose has been taken clean out by the edge of the box. We've got a free kick. We need to capitalise, get a goal, and see this game out. Come on. This is pretty much our last chance. That's it. Come on. Zero. Come on. Come on. So get in the box, he's going to blow the whistle. That's it. Come on. Come on, Joe Say. I'm sorry, but how the hell is this not a corner? How can you even get that decision wrong? Yeah, it's over. Bradford City are getting very excited over a 1 1 draw. It seems to me that their wins are running out for them to get excited over a 1 1 draw. <laughs> this is great banter. It's the same old crap. Same old crap. A free header from an unmarked player on the wing. It's happened three weeks in a row. We are not going to get promoted if this carries on. We're not ruthless enough. We're not taking our chances. It's not good enough. Calm down. Fuck off. That end chance was a corner. I'm sick and tired of this. Missed opportunity to get in the playoffs. We're still only two points behind Bradford. But still. Another missed opportunity, and I can't stand for this. MK Dons is a must-win game. We need to batter MK Dons. But anyway, that's it. Charlton won, Bradford won. And I hope Robinson is going to give his team a grilling and tell them how to score goals and how to defend. This has been Tyler Rowlinson. Like and subscribe. Don't really care. Oh, sorry. And I'll see you all in the next game, next home game, Shrewsbury Town, Football for a Fiver. And I'll see you there, but I'm beyond happy right now. What do you think of that game? All right, same, same poor defending, ball down the wing. Same shit. Pretty much. Says it all. I'll see you all in two weeks' time for Shrewsbury Town, where hopefully I'll see a much needed, much improved Charlton side. This needs to improve. Or promotion will become even more unlikely by the weeks go by. I'll see you later. Fucking twat. Oh.